Hello and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent, the scariest game ever apparently. And uh, in the previous episode, Dirty Pod Pig, Trevin, scared the crap out of me. Out Alexander, there. is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. <laughs> Birds. Medic's hiding in there. And team Fortress. I should probably leave that open so I know I'm there. Whatever. Going up the stairs! Eh. Not scared of you, Rock. Let's have a staring pot. Whoa. Wind. Everything in this game is trying to scare me. That's what this castle is for. What? I'll save you, lady! Trust me, I bet your name is B Bethany. I'll save you. I forgot to turn my watch on. Let's do that now. I think it's been like three minutes, maybe two. So. Yes. Oh. I'm not a fan of this place. <laughs> Except for you. Windows are my friend. Windows are everybody's friend. Except for doors. Doors and windows seem to have a bit of a... A bit of a thing. They just seem to not like each other. I don't... Hello? Why are you... I... I'm... I'm not crazy. I feel like I heard a man crying. Ooh, oil. I almost missed that. Um. But, oh. God dang it, I always do that. I think in one of their other games. There's a snake. Eek! Ah. Okay. I hear something. I'm a little scared. Why did everything turn red? Um. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go down here. See if we can find out. Whoa. Don't drown, I'll save you. Click, click, click. Click, click. Whatever. No one cared anyway. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaf uh, unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. That's how I imagined that guy. Don't know if it was true. That's how he talked in my head. Something's walking. It's upstairs. Let's be afraid of upstairs together. So there should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aquaforce. 
Um, I know that in this part, some of these notes are more important. So I'm going to read these, but I'm not going to read some of the other ones. Because some people I've spoken to that have watched these videos didn't really enjoy how I read the notes and the story. So I'm going to read the ones that I think are going to be important in a funny voice. But other ones I'm not going to. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vi word <laughs> the former the former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given and the cuprite bends them well. This time I will attempt to aqua regia instead of aqua forces, and I hope it will produce a more even solution. I no, not important. Stop walking! No one likes you. <gasps> the box. Sure. Whatever that is. One day I will return. If it isn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together. I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Note to self, don't touch those. Boop! Huh. I'm looking for tinderboxes. Oh yeah, can't trick me. What I've seen, I haven't watched the whole gameplay playthrough of this either, just some of it. And I know that they hide a lot of stuff. Like a kind of unreasonable amount of things. Uh, is that Cooperite? Oh, I. I used it. Um. I. I don't think that was a good thing. That was not a good thing I did right there. People usually prefer the oil, but I... Boxes make a lot of noise. I normally prefer to use... Uh, tinder boxes. So I, I'm really paranoid about like oil and stuff. Well, not paranoid, but I just feel like I'm using it when I shouldn't. A lot of the time. Now that I know there's nothing to be afraid of in here, I'm not scared. Ooh, Casey's not a stupid weirdo. He's afraid of everything. Yippee. I'm gonna use this. I think it, it's important to light everything up. Just in case it needs to be lit up later. I'm like out of oil or in the tinder boxes or something. Then I get to have that later. Um. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London. It seemed appropriate somehow. Come on, let's do it. Let's go down here. Yeah. I was gonna light that. <sighs> Can't light it. Oh, is there a key? There's a key somewhere. J. Notes. Not what I was looking for. Memento. Let's find the key for the wine cellar evidence in the laboratory. Has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the. Oh! That was the wine cellar. I need to get in there. 
sweet. That. Um, sunlight, sunlight. S sounds like a dying dog outside. What's this? Archives. I think that's where I came from. Right. Um. Tinder. Tinder back. Okay, won't budge. The the boards kind of told me that, but I didn't listen. I I tend not to. Most of archives, most of the time. The other children cheered him on. His name, his name, voice in a steadily rising pace. Daniel, Daniel, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Why did I turn the lantern on? That was pointless. Hmm, what's this? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. Um, I'll shut my mouth whenever those turn on. No use in me talking over him. Whoa, can I like, nope. Thought maybe I could bite that. That should have been like the most powerful one. Whatever. Oh, there's nothing in here. Other than that. Okay. It's over here. I feel like I hear humming. Why do I hear humming? Wilhelm's contract. I should have kept that open longer. Read it. Pause it. Done. Ugh. That humming's freaking me out. And I feel there's a burden here. Uh, can't light those. Makes me angry. Uh, <laughs> anger. Levi. Light. Eh. I just cornered myself. Whoa. 
Whoa. What's that? Loot. 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 Another letter? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. That was rude. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. He said he's afraid of walls. Who's afraid of walls? Nobody. Isn't that right? <laughs> um, pay no. Pay no attention to that. That didn't happen. Your imagination. Imagination gone wild. I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Scary.